These are the vivid monkeys. Always curious, sometimes mischievous, and unstoppable. People often don't like them because they steal whatever they can find, and that means a lot of trouble. But the conflict gets a lot harder when it comes to baboons. It needs just one moment of inattention, and they get what they want. So wherever these two species are seen in southern Africa, it's a recipe for disaster. Especially if they take whatever is edible. Me being a farmer and, and staying on the farm, we don't have lots of contact with vermin, but we do with baboons. And we do find that as long as they wild and stay out in the forests, uh, it's good, we, we've got no hassle with them. But they do tend to come in into the uh, dairy pile and, and where we work and they're quite destructive. That's why chasing them away or even shooting them seems normal. And also poaching for a free meal is very common, but these traps can cause an agonizing death. This baboon continued to grow with a snare around its neck. Karen Sachs has been rescuing monkeys her whole life. What would she suggest to people who have problems with vervets and baboons? Well, if you make your property baboon and monkey proof, it requires just putting screens on the windows. That makes a huge difference. You don't have to get rid of everything, but if you find out what is actually attracting the baboons or monkeys and get rid of that, it will go a long way to helping the problem. <laughs> Even though these handicapped monkeys feel safe around Karen's house, the conflict with vervets and baboons is still immense. But the people and the government need to change. The southern vervet monkey and the endemic chakma baboon play a very important role in the ecosystem. They are an important part of the food chain and crucial for the spreading of seeds. For these primates to survive, we need to learn to live alongside them and make a change. Let's hope that these two species will have a chance in the future.